So hello guys, welcome back for another video, another day and another vlog. Hey, I am Matthew P. Javier, a student of Maranga State University, taking Bachelor of Science Information Technology. So now we're going to answer activity in chapter 10. So guys, as we press lunch course and application 10, which is with application rather chapter 10 which is the application layer so guys in here we're going to answer the ch activity in 10 1, 1, 4, which is tcp ip model there is something wrong about about our model so wait let me fix maybe fix if you fix it Next one is uh, hope you fix it. There's nothing to so our going we are going to answer first is now is the OSI model, the application and presentation. So drag the appropriate protocol names and standards to the correct OSI TCP IP network. Location each protocol and standards will be used once on the OSI model and once on the TCP IP model so application is have pop IMAP and DHCP DHCP TFTP DHCP TFTP uh, IMAP IMAP at FTP POP and DNS and HTTP so in our presentation uh, we're going to what is in the box of the presentation it has three it has MPEG JPEG and GIF so we can fix the TCP IP model but it has the it has the as we can see the JPEG also it has uh, TFTP POP MPEG DHCP HTTP DNS and what you call GIF so as we check it it is all correct it is incorrect because we can't answer in this part because it is blank so the next activity that we're going to that we're going to do is chapter 10 to 10 to 2 for the NS lookup command so in this activity we're going to configure or use a uh, DNS CLI commands in Windows Linux so from the Windows command prompt enter NS lookup to command to begin so we type NS lookup So it says that you are now in a, in a NSO code. Enter the domain name www.cisco.com. www.cisco.com. So it says that the output list of www.cisco related IP address, the server is E144, currently has its database. Notice that IPv6 addresses are also listed. Addition various alias are shown that will result to www.cisco.com. Enter the exit command to leave NS lookout mode and return to command line. We type exit. You can directly query the DNS servers by adding the domain name NS lookup command. Enter NS lookup command. And www.google.com. 
fuck up www dot go google dot dot com so enter the ns lookup command and begin and manual query of the server so type ns lookup again and enter www dot cisco dot at the prompt www dot cisco dot com and enter exit to leave ns lookup and return to the linux and type exit and as in windows you can direct by dns service by simply domain name to the ns lookup command and the ns lookup ns lookup www.google.com you successfully use the ns lookup command to verify the status of domain names so that is all about chapter 10 application layer how you will do a command in cli in windows and in and linux so we're going back to the one that which is have a problem if it is have no problem we're going to answer it all again so there is a problem so as i can say earlier that that is all about our chapter 10 activity that's all and i hope you learn more about answering this activity i'm much happy to have you again and thank you